Baby rats want one major thing in life. They want to be loved. Okay? And in baby rats, the way that they experience love is that their mother licks and grooms them a lot. That's what baby rats are like. A mother rat who licks and grooms her offspring a lot will lick and groom offspring in every litter that she has. She's a good mother every single time. You also get feckless rat mothers who don't lick and groom their offspring very much. And you find that they're feckless in all of their litters. Okay? <coughs> it's not an expression I would ever use with humans, but we're only talking rats. Okay? So we've got feckless mothers, good mothers. So we've got these rat babies. They're licked and groomed. And they are happy rat babies. Okay? They like being licked and groomed. Now, rat babies are not like us. They do not hang around for a very long time until their mothers eventually say, I want that room. Okay? <laughs> rat babies do not hang around. Rat babies leave their mothers, and they leave them after a few weeks. So let's take a rat baby that's been licked and groomed and loved, and we'll let it grow up in just the normal way that rat babies do. <laughs> It becomes an adult rat. And when it's an adult rat, you give it a mildly stressful stimulus. Nothing major, just a mildly stressful stimulus. And the adult rat basically does a ratty shrug. It's not that bothered. It's very chilled out. It's a very relaxed rat. However, take a baby rat that was the offspring of a feckless mother that wasn't licked and groomed very much and let it grow up and give it the same mildly stressful stimulus, it's on the ceiling. It jumps out of its skin. It is a highly stressed rat. And by doing fostering experiments, you can show that this has nothing to do with genetics and it has nothing to do with the uterine environment. It's absolutely to do with how much the baby was licked and groomed as a baby. Which, of course, is quite although rather crude, is quite an interesting animal model of early childhood experiences. 